viewers welcome to HPC simplified today we are going to see variable refrigerant flow versus air cool chillers today the topic will be the merits and the demerits of a variable refrigerant flow system and air cool chillers we are going to see what are the systems in which type of HVAC systems both can be applicable depending on the HVAC design and the building requirement. So let's start with the variable refrigerant flow system. Merits of variable refrigerant flow system. Different indoor unit options can be used like a high wall mounted cassette unit, concealed units, ducted type units and so on. This can help in blending the air conditioner system with the appropriate interior design of a space. Variable refrigeration flow system is a direct expansion system where multiple indoor units can be combined together to be connected with one single outdoor unit with a large capacity. Operation is very simple, probably as simple as operating a split air conditioner system and hence no separate manpower is required for operating the system. Good option for providing air conditioning to apartments, villas, small installation where in complexity of the system. A major demerit of the system can be kept to a minimum. Demerits of variable flow system. Complex system architecture, large amount of refrigerant piping running around in conditioned space. If Decided to use for a large capacity, more space required to install many number of outdoor units. Access to the outdoor units is necessity as all the maintenance work required will be mostly on the outdoor units. Will not be much of benefit where the cooling load has limited diversity such as in offices, malls, multiplex etc wherein the diversity is limited to some conference room and of cafeterias etc. High skill labor required for installation and commissioning and maintenance, especially to identify and correct the leaks. It's not recommended for high rise buildings. The compressor will be very big to overcome the additional piping and pressure losses. Identifying pipes and their leaks complication for high rise buildings. The system is not suitable. Now let us look at the merits of an air cooled chiller. The most mature technology with a history of six decades. High energy efficient, enables comfortability complying to ASHRAE AHRI and LEED Platinum requirement, exceeding the performance and the energy efficiency ratio. With proper system design and installation, multiple chillers, even in the case of high diversity, chillers becomes a good option due to their good efficiency even at the part load conditions. Project size is not the constraint at all. Demerits of air cool chillers. Availability of water is a must. Require additional space for the planned room of chillers, air handling unit rooms, and space for mounting the cooling tower if it is a water cooled chiller. Cooling towers are only required if the system is a water cooled chiller, and if it's air cooled condenser, then water cooled is not required. I'll be doing a separate video between the difference of air cooled chillers and the water cooled chillers. Train manpower is required for operating the central chiller plant. Highly skilled labor required for installation and commissioning and maintenance, especially to identify and correct leaks. Conclusion For VRF, for smaller system up to 100 to 200 ton with limited outdoor units and indoor units, VRF system can be a good solution. As for a small center plant, space availability of chillers, AHU may not be available. Also for such small systems, the VR system can remain simple with limited refrigerant piping and without much complications. However, for chillers, 
when the installation size starts increasing vrf systems as seen above starts becoming complex and in such cases planning and installation of air cooled chillers is always beneficial the life cycle cost of such system is not only lower than the vrf system but is also avoid safety related issues such as leaks of refrigerant in the condition space better air circulation better air inhaler etc so depending on the system and depending on your design of the building wherever it is applicable both the system has got its own merits and demerits thank you very much guys hope you like my videos keep watching i'll be back with my new videos soon